can artificial intelligence help save the world's coral reefs? A team of researchers in the Indian Ocean is putting AI to the test, using sound to track, protect, and even restore fragile underwater ecosystems. From hydrophones recording reef symphonies to drones mapping ocean health. Here's our report on how technology is giving marine life a second chance. Beneath the turquoise waters of the Indian Ocean, an army of silent sentinels is at work, listening, learning and helping to rescue the fragile coral reefs. No, this isn't the plot of a futuristic sci-fi film. It is the reality of how artificial intelligence is revolutionizing marine conservation. At the forefront of this innovation is Reef Pulse, a multidisciplinary team using passive acoustics to monitor coral reef health in real time. Over the past four months, the team has deployed eight hydrophones at a depth of 12 meters off the coast of St. Lou. This is to record the rich underwater soundscape, from the crackling of pistol shrimp to the calls of groupers. Every noise captured helps researchers understand the delicate balance of marine life. Traditional reef monitoring relies on visual surveys, which are time-consuming, expensive, and often limited to daylight hours. But sound travels far and wide underwater, offering a constant 24 into 7 window into the reef's activities. By analyzing the collected audio data, reef pulse can detect changes in biodiversity, pinpoint stress signals, and even explore ways to restore degraded reefs. The challenge is to detect when things are going well and when they're not, how certain areas are evolving, and then to respond with management measures. These management measures can be as simple as restricting access, preventing fishing in certain areas, etc., but they can also include active ecosystem restoration measures. We're all familiar with coral propagation, the immersion of artificial reefs, but with acoustics, there are also restoration possibilities. The sheer volume of data collected is staggering. Over 500 terabytes of underwater audio have been recorded so far. An amount impossible for humans to analyze manually. This is where AI steps in. Advanced machine learning algorithms process years worth of sound in minutes. They help in identifying species tracking behavior changes, and even flagging early signs of reef degradation. From the SD cards, which range in size from 512 gigabytes to 1.5 terabytes, that we retrieved directly and uploaded to the server, we have now accumulated over 500 terabytes of data. This represents a significant amount of information, spanning years of audio. Humanly, it would be very difficult to set up the means to listen to all of it. This is where artificial intelligence and our traditional signal processing algorithm tools can help process years of data in a few minutes or hours, depending on the tools and analyses we need, such as on volume or the presence of certain fish species. And it's not just reef pulse making waves in AI-powered conservation. At the French Institute for Ocean Science in La Porte, PhD student Matteo Contini is developing AI-driven mapping system. Using drone footage and autonomous camera boards, he has collected thousands of images of Indian Ocean reefs, creating real-time maps of reef health. So, in the future, we could imagine a model that takes images, sound, and maybe other types of data at the same time, like temperature and salinity, and processes all of this information simultaneously to refine the results, predictions, and provide parameters on the state of the reef at a given moment in time. Beyond monitoring, AI is now being explored as a tool for active reef restoration. Studies in Australia and Florida have shown that playing healthy reef sounds can attract fish and coral larvae to degraded areas, effectively repopulating damaged reefs. Reef Pulse hopes to take this a step further by using AI to fine-tune these soundscapes and create optimal conditions for reef recovery. 
I find that really fascinating, and I can't wait to put the devices underwater, set up the speakers, and see how it works. We're excited about it. Despite its promise, AI-powered reef conservation is still in its early stages. The challenge now is scaling up these technologies, reducing costs, and automating processes. This is to make them accessible worldwide. As climate change continues to threaten coral reefs, these silent underwater listeners might just be the key to saving some of the ocean's most biodiverse ecosystems. Merci beaucoup. Hi. How are you? Very well, thank you. Thank you for being here. Namaste, Mr. President. Bharat Kelogon, Komeri Namaste. How many people generally follow you in interviews? Typically in a month, we have uh, viewers uh, up to 150 million, that's more than twice the population of France. And in the last two years, we had three billion viewers. So I say, Lohan, this is your chance to be famous. You're on first post. <laughs> <laughs> One word to describe your equation with Prime Minister Modi. Amitié. As India and France work together, are you creating a new era of non-alignment in the technology space? India is a training superpower. One million engineers a year more than all of Europe and the US combined. So we have that partnership. We have a partnership on the environment and the economy. We also have civilian nuclear programs. And that is something we've developed far beyond the France-India relationship. So we want to work together on AI. And then comes China with its deep sea, creating models at a fraction of the cost. Did that innovation take you by surprise? Did that breakthrough make you sit up and think, what, what did the Chinese do and how? But what did deep sea do? They took everything that was already available from the last AI model, and then uh, they recalibrated it. So are you going to ban Chinese AI in France? So we don't have this American approach of banning tech because of where it comes from. 